Hello everybody and welcome to a new legacy video. I am playing finally with Miss Kimbu Timeless Heroes. This is a card that's been around for a while in Paper Magic, but it's just been released on Magic Online. It is a 4 mana Planeswalker that does a lot of value for left and check. Color comparisons are with Jason and Scotcher because they both cost 4 mana, but of course this one doesn't suffer a uh, uh, Power Blast. So that's actually a big deal in Legacy Power Blast. It's a card that's even played in main deck in, in several archetypes. Minskin Boo is a 4 mana planeswalker that comes into play with a 1 1 legendary Boo and uh, becomes a 4 4 immediately. And you attack with it, trample and haste. And then you can sacrifice a creature. And when you do, it deals X damage to any target where X is the power. So you can sacrifice like an Esfen Coatl or an Ur as well. But if the creature had. It was a hamster who draws cards. So if it was a hamster, you actually draw four cards, and that's like a very big deal. Otherwise, you can just sacrifice like a Coatl and kill a Dragon's Rich Channeler, and, and that will go. I mean, that's not, not, not the greatest trade, but you can do that. Um, the rest of the deck is a Uro Control, Uro Titans of Nature's Wrath, Banded Modern. Uh, it's a, you know, a banded pioneer standard in every format. It's still legal in Legacy, and it's not even that good in Legacy. I mean, it's fine, of course, it's a very good card, but uh, the fact that, uh, well, like, it costs a lot of mana to come into play, uh, and uh, the fact that um, you know it's it suffer it suffers graveyard hate uh, makes it attackable, of course, in a format so powerful as Legacy. Also, you, you, a lot of premier removal spell exile things like prismatic ending and source of plowshares. Um, this deck, though, the main strength isn't just these cards, it's also its lands. It's kind of acting like a lands deck. You have two life from the loam, and you have field of the dead. Uh, so this deck plays uh, 23 uh, unique lands. And of course, fetch lands are redundant, but uh, 23, um, like, all your lands are unique, and you're going to just uh, sometimes just dredge loam instead of drawing, because you know, all you do is just getting land to the field of the dead or just mill your Uro and cast it. Uh, I like a second means in the sideboard for when your opponent brings it like surgical or graveyard haste so that you can switch that plan a little bit. You got Carpet of Flowers, one of the best cards against blue are Delver, as long as as well as Endurance, you got a couple of blue and blast and red blast. Serenity, one of the best cards you can do against eighth cast. And then Ether Sworn Canonist, the, the the best hate bear for legacy decks, almost all legacy decks. I really struggle against the uh, Ethers Worm Canonist, the, the combo decks. I mean. So yeah, this uh, this league is gonna is gonna last a lot because well, this deck is low. This deck is very slow. <laughs> I've played this deck uh, a, a little bit in paper. It's been fun, uh, you know. One of the problems of these legacy decks is that they take a long time to, 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 to finish their game, but, you know? Alright, we're ready against the Urposaurus. 23 lands is a lot for a legacy deck, so sometimes you're gonna open the hands like this. I got Catch or Try, I mean, you might feel like weird that, that this card is in here. Well, again, you do need all different cards for, um, I think I'm gonna pitch a Ponder. I know it's weird, but I know that you do have like a lot of, uh, yeah, Miskin Vu closes fast, closes very fast for sure. Although, oh, they named Zombie. Is that Hogak? The Gak Attack, Crypt Breaker, all right. Opponent is about to break some crypts over there. You're up. Hmm, Wasteland. Opponent Mulligan to six. I'm a big fan of just Wastelanding when I don't have a turn one play. You'd be like, oh yeah, but you just bottomed the turn one play. I know I did, I know I did. What was I supposed to bottom? Endurance and Uro? It's great here. Dress Down? When in doubt, so Dress Down is like the best thing possible against Urza Saga. And, uh, yeah, just decided to bottom a cantrip. At the end of the day, my hand was three lands, three spells, so that's okay. Plus, my cantrip trium is kind of a turn one play. Grip Crawler, Grip Breaker. Hmm, Ponder's back. I'm still going to cantrip trium, though.
Wasteland Cavern of Souls is weird, also because I didn't have Force at the time. But, you know, you could, you could keep Wallander as a dex like that. You can also play Dress Down at the end of turn of the opponent and then let Ur resolve without needing to sacrifice it. That's true. It's very true. Very true play. A play that usually it's always been better in theory than in practice, but there's some decks, usually, you know, some uh, more fringe decks that don't actually play a removal spell and are and are somewhat aggressive like my opponents right now. So this might actually be the one, one of the very few times where this is correct to do. See, they keep on casting these one drops. Cabal therapy. All right. And they have Grip Crawler in the graveyard, so that's pretty good. <laughs> they didn't brainstorm. And then they can just sacrifice Grip Crawler uh, to name whatever they want to name and do or answer dress down, and then they can aura me. I can, of course, endurance the Grave Crawler, but <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, come on, therapy for those of you that have seen it. It's you name a card, it yeah, so it's kind of random the first effect, but. Um, you know, if you play enough Legacy, you can't guess right. Like, my opponent didn't guess Brainstorm because blue deck and blah blah blah. Plus, you can just use this to sacrifice, and now opponent is recast it. So, that's if you hit the first time, that's card advantage. We got uh, oh, they do name Dress Down, so they uh, stopped my Dress Down Aura combo. Uh, still, I don't want to spend. Two of my mythic rare to get rid of a grave crawler, so I'm gonna let my opponent do the thing. Do the thing. All right, draw. Source supply share is not bad. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go planes. There's no cover planes. Actually, though, my opponent most likely they they don't have uh, wasteland. I do have Coat. Actually, I don't have Coat. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a dual end. Uh, tundra. Yeah, I can never go wrong with a Tundra. Let's go Tundra. Also, if you got planes, it doesn't uh, bring back Oro, so that's an easy Tundra. Uh, what do I want to plow here? Uh, I'm gonna plow the Crit Breaker. Crit Breaker. And just discard a card that comes back. I don't know. And I play Ponder. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I mean, I don't mind drawing a land, although maybe I should just shuffle these. I guess next turn I can go Ura Ponder. All right, I'll keep this. Shuffle your library, nope. Uh, that way I can bring back Ura. <laughs> Thirteen. Tyrell's color. That was a zombie, so I probably would have drawn a card record breaker. Happy I plowed it. But they will be able to take my aura now. Daisy 13. Hello. Thank you, Daisy. Nine months. That's an update to a Tortellino badge. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I took my Uro. I have to play this and pass with Endurance up. This way my opponent cannot attack me. That's the power of Endurance. It's both a you know surgical extraction against her animator on turn zero, and it's an excellent blocker. Excellent blocker. Oh, I can Tidalo. Bozeju to Tidalo. I did not think about that. Mostly because I needed to play a second forest to Arcast Force. Uh, to Arcast. Endurance. I'm I'm gonna exalt I'm gonna put back their lands. 
Let's see if they have a push. If you can suck the clearing and push me. I don't know, we'll see. Or plow, sure. Oh, okay then. Uh, I take four. Down to 12. I'll gain three with this. One car remaining. They suck the clearing. And they play another marsh flop. Alright. I have a Narciss on top. Uh, what do we want to do with it though? I think I can go ponder first. There's another endurance to draw. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go Nars at Ponder. Yeah, seems like a better sequencing here. Narset, hopefully finding a plow or a prismatic ending. Hmm, Minsk and Boo Boo. Do I want to get the Minsk and Boo Boo or the ending on Grave Crawler? I think I'd rather go. Maybe it's time to try this guy, huh? Die. If we don't, if we never, if we never get it and never try it. Right? Uh, shuffle these. It's a point of cabal therapy, this. I maybe need a. Maybe need an arset. If a point of cabal therapy is that. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna leave this in hand so if they draw cabal therapy, they don't discard both of my cards. I think the perfect, the best play was Narset into ending, but I gotta put this hamster into play and be like, yo, look, I won with the hamster. All right, my Narset dies. Very unlikely to leave it, to leave it alive. I could have Days and Doing in my deck, which is actually a played card in Legacy. The combo days and doing Narset, it's as it's as alive as in Pioneer Modern and also Legacy. Hmm. Alright, looks like they Hmm. <laughs> the, the funny thing though is that Minsk and Boo just dies to remove. Okay. Alright, we're back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, so I went for a prismatic ending on the title was called a replay Uro and they plowed it. Now they attack me with Grape Crawler and I'll leave with that. I'll leave with that. Next turn I can go Minsk and Boo, backing it up with Force of Will. But yeah, and Minsk and Boo now doesn't even die to a plow. Before it did. Oh, I can bounce my own Minsk and Boo token now. That's a joke. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's go. Minsk and Boo Boo. Do -do 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 -do. Token. Yes. Let's get that. Let's get that Hamsa token down. And then boom, you gotta you become a full full. Hey, I pass for now. Ooh, what you do there? Plow. You plow. All right. It doesn't die to my attack, to put an attack, so I'm not gonna force it. Of course, this means that it can next turn attack Minsk and Buddha 1, but Minsk and Buddha 1, it's not a big deal because in upkeep we get another hamster and then we can pump it again, so we got another 4 4. Champion of the Perished. Alright. Becomes a 2 2. I'm not forcing anything though, unless it's. Uh, very good card. I'm not forcing anything on this board state. All right, the attack means can boot a one. Upkeep. I make a boot token. This triggers every upkeep, every upkeep of yours. It's not like you feel answer. Unfortunately, I would say. Draw. Ooh, brainstones. I'm gonna go pawn it first though. Force brainstones. I'm gonna shuffle. Ponder. All right, let's, let's do it again. Plow. Drawing the plow. Shuffle library. Nope. Let's pump boo boo. And I pass. Compared to Paper Legacy, are there some cards missing on MTGO? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a, a lot of commander cards missing. It's just that usually they aren't very good. But there are a couple of cards that are missing right now, like uh, the Initiative White guy 
and the, there's a red dude that makes four one skeletons. Those are like two of the cards that are heard about that somewhat playable in paper. But again, it's not a big deal. All right, yeah, technically with a crawler. Why? Oh, because you want to pump the champion? But B, I'll allow it. Actually, what I'm doing here is, ooh, look at that, I have a stopping end combat as well. So I'll block, and then end combat, I'm gonna play the endurance. So that you can't pump the champion. I mean, opponent is just doing something very, very minor. Like they're playing all these like, it's like a very, let's say, yeah. That's all, that's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Beating him. Now, sideboard. Uh, I'll bring in a, a second Minsk, I'll bring in a third Endurance. Not much, honestly. <laughs> My sideboard is uh, very much ready for blue decks and uh, and I guess artifact phase then combo decks. Mm, I can take out maybe force of negation. That's the only card that I can think. It's not particularly good. Narset also not amazing, but she's also like never too bad either. Like you saw it here, it was fine. All right, I think we can go. Minsk and Boo, timeless heroes. It was just. You're not a big deal in this match. I mean, you just close the game. Without it, the game would have dragged for a little bit longer. I would eventually draw an Uro and won with it. Um, not an amazing hand, but we do have Prismatic Ending, which is good against my opponent's deck. Of course, they don't have white mana, but they don't have Wasteland, so I can find... Uh, whoa, Carrion Feeder. Yep. Feels like opponent is playing like Ogak, but without Ogak. I don't know. They had the Madden in X. Yes, that's a card that was missing. And that card definitely sees play, Madden in X. Whereas Minsk and Boo, um, it might see play. Minsk and Boo might see play. Just, you need to find a red shell, that's it. Ooh, Cabal Therapy. I could have played Brainstorming Response. The thing is, chat, if you think they know your brainstorm. If you don't think and just let the couple therapy resolves, they don't name brainstorm. This time they named Narset Partner of the Veils. Okay. So a cabal therapy against a brainstorm in the end, it's always like that, all right? I usually don't like to go brainstorm and throw in a spell like this. And uh, if you're new to Legacy, I can explain you why. The reason is if you go brainstorm and turn, you go deep of three cards. If instead you untap, draw, and then play Brainstorm, you go deep of four cards, okay? That's a that's a big difference. Like now, for example, right? I, I was forced to play Brainstorm here because they come out therapy. I think I'm bottoming two ending because I had two ending, so it's likely that the name one here. Every other card is a one for one. And I just don't want to get two for one here. I don't mind whatever they discard. They discard dress down, sure. It wasn't even a one for one actually because they, they killed their own creature. So it was better than that. And now I just play my land and pass. I don't want to play Brainstorm because I know the top two cards are bad. So I want to draw, I mean, they're not bad, they're great, but they're not land. So I want to draw them both. And after I've drawn them both, I'll play Brainstorm. The reason being, again, I want to go deeper. Again, if I if they didn't flashback the, the Cabal Therapy there, I wouldn't have played Brainstorm end of turn. I would have just take my draw, play Forest Pass, the turn after, I would have take a draw and then done something, okay? Extirpate on my Brainstorm, <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> All right, <laughs> my brainstorm is gone forever, and I couldn't respond it. I couldn't respond with it. Not a big deal. All right, in the pass. 
Uh, do I play this? Sure. Do I play this? I mean, I don't have that much better to do, so. I just play alone, empty. Uh, I am going to dredge it. Uh, I just find lands, play lands, play ending. Play means can boost soon, and just, yeah. They sh yeah, they shuffled my top card. Yes, indeed. I drew this Catcher Trium. You could play Tiger instead of Catcher Trium. It's just that I like to have more blue sources. Because uh, turn one, blue source. I mean, it's not a turn one, but... Okay, to play a couple of things. Drop. I'll dredge. I dredge that Wasteland. I'll Wasteland my opponent here. Hello to JJ728. Hello. 12 bonds. That's in here. Thank you so much, JJ. Hello, peace. And I keep on dredging until I find a white source. Because dredging lets you see three cards. What's that? Undead Ogre. Whenever Undead Ogre or another zombie you control dies. Hmm. Dies is not particularly good as a keyword in Legacy because of the Exile effect. Oh, very good. I found no one but three lands. Remember they have Carrion Feeder. So I have to work smart here. I can't simply just exile the, the Undead Augur, right? Or can I? Maybe I should instead. Hmm, yeah, I think so, I think so. I'm just gonna go Prismatic Vista, grab a Plains, and uh, ending the Augur. I will sacrifice it on the Carrion Feeder, but uh, I think it's fine. This pro prohibits my opponent to go off the next turn, maybe. They can't tight hollow with Rage card. Yeah, the, right now the game is about uh, uh, Life from the Loam. Oh wow, they decided to also can't you put Crip Breaker. Sure. I can get behind that. Go. Left alone is very good. If I put in Dita into a waste and extirpate on a brainstorm, but I mean they didn't waste it, of course. They they discarded the brainstorm from my hands, so it wasn't the worst, but they said in extirpate to, to exalt the the loan. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield, each proponent loses one of you know. Okay. Do I wanna keep uh, a dredging? Sure, I got four ore in my deck. This is like basically drawing extra cards. Uh, whenever the zombie, if it's not to cancel, I have to exile a creature. What do I exile? This. It's not exile because they suck it, but I got rid of it so that I don't take too much damage with it. And then I go low and dredge back cards. Turu turu tu kiumea. Loam on the trois. Thank you, Kumea. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome, welcome. Champion of the Perished. All right, and they do me too. Is this the time? It's the time to play Miss Kamboo. All right, I'm, I'm even taking a draw here. I feel like there's a good card on top. It's fine, it's fine. It's not, it's not a bad card. Uh, let's go for a Wasteland Minsk and Boo Boo. Alright. Hamster, I choose you. Hamster, would you like me? Why, why does it? Okay, sure, I get it, I get it, I get it. Minsk and Boo Boo, I choose you. Ooh, I could have... Uh, no, actually, Zubazeju works with... Oh, this is... Oh... I could have left up a forest because this is legendary, but they only cost the one mana. That's true. Champion of the Perished resolves. Yeah, 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 for sure. I could have. I didn't think about it. 
Hello, Q man. I'm a nine. They can send me down to. They can send me down to. Nothing. They don't attack me. Uh, I don't want to put a counter here, though. Nope. Uh, draw. Take a draw or dredge. Take a draw. Ponder. Let's. Hmm. Do I want to minus Minsk? I will. Uh, pff, maybe not. And I draw four cards. So I can kill a Wayward Servant and draw four cards. I think it's worth it. I think I attack first, though, right? Yeah. Minus two, sacrifice Minsk, sorry, sacrifice Boo, and, and deal four to this thing. Draw four cards. Uh, oh, I can dredge. Nope. 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 All right, not the most amazing draws. Let's play Ponder. Three lands, I don't want him. Uh, dredge, nope. Hmm. Uh, I guess we Ponder again. Dress down and a second Minsk. I definitely want a second Minsk. I don't like the other cards, so I will. Uh, maybe dress down is free, right? Because I play blue land here. So okay, I'll. Uh, I draw Minsk and I draw dress down. Shuffle library. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, let's play a land. A go to discard. I got nothing to do here. Land land. They play Grip Crawler. I think I'm going to respawn with a Dress Down so that the these things don't pump. I'll draw. But that Volcanic Island, I'm not drawing it, so I'm gonna dredge. Putting kills my planeswalker, sure, but we got a we got a new thing. Ooh, another line that I just realized you can play dress down and then evoke uh, endurance if you don't have double green or if it's turn two I've done it in modern with subtlety never done that in legacy with endurance wow it attacked me you didn't attack my planeswalker no but bay opponent to say matto all right let's dredge dredge because I don't want revolt is there an ore in my graveyard nope <laughs> uh well I'm at six life and I don't have any. Oh, there's Field of the Dead. Oh, all right, let's do it then. Field of the Dead. Mm hmm. Zombo. Wish I had an Ur at some point. Do I want to minus Minsk, minus Boo and play a new Boo? I could do that, actually. Yeah. Let's do that. So I'll minus a. I'll uh, sacrifice Boo. I'll sacrifice Boo. I'll kill the champion of the perished. I'll draw a card. Do I want to dredge? Nope. Uro! Oh, that Uro, come on, us. I guess I'm going for a Uro. Uro with Field with the Dead in play is quite good, as you can imagine. Let's go, Uro. Gain three life. Let's go. Nope. Let's go. Ooh. Uh. Haha. <laughs> I topped the one time today. All right. Whatever. Let's play this. Is there any land left in my deck for it? I didn't even check. I play like the only fetch land. Maybe I shouldn't have. What are my basics? Island. Island. Oh, there is a basic forest in my deck, I think. But yeah. That's why you play Snow Cover and uh, Forest, because that way the, they make tokens for Field of the Dead. Classic. Classic four color control, by the way. You're just so in control, but. <laughs> that deck still takes a uh, one hour to win. Is there a force in my deck? Yes, look at that. You just fetch, you got a token. You block the profit. Ma. 
This is Monet Pile. <laughs> is this? I mean, it's Legacy. Actually, this deck doesn't play that many dual lands. People that they had banned in modern. And they can see the game. All right. Urposaurus. Thank you for the game. Thank you for the game. Also, banned in Pioneer. Yeah. Remember when Pioneer was wild? Uh, I remember playing Escape Shift with Field. Okay. This match was just to warm up. Opponent was obviously playing a brew that's not like very uh, popular in Legacy or anything. But. Kind of showed uh, the, the plan of the deck, which is to exile your opponent creatures and stick an Uro. In the more grindy matchups, you get Cure Field of the Dead out. Bonjour on the wiki, congrats on your uh, uh, challenge win. Chat, wiki 84, just won a legacy challenge with just got control. Uh, definitely one of the best... Um, one of the best archetype in legacy. One of the few, probably one of the few deck that actually can say with certainty, not with the certainty, but one of the few decks in Legacy that can say, I don't mind playing against Delver, right? You think that Urim Field were very bad design errors. Well, Legacy format leaves off design error, so I welcome them. I am very happy when a card is pushed. That means it's fun to play with. I, for one, am a player who welcomes the power creep, as they call it. I am instead um, not happy when they release sets that are weak. Okay, Genko 88, let's go. Mm. But I also come for the privileged position of uh, uh, I can't afford every card. And also I have to make content. So I'm happy when they make good cards instead of when they make bad cards that they don't make content. So yeah, the common uh, magic player angry at card power creep. That's not me. Well, that's all I look for actually. Okay, Island from Tempest, Ponder. Island from Tempest, Ponder. So Island from Tempest tells me that my opponent plays a Storm deck because Tempest, it has the Storm uh, avatar. So I think my opponent is playing a combo deck. Draw. Uh, well, I could play around Days by passing here, but actually I will. I will play around Days here. They can go like, you know, the Doomsday Days. Urza's Sagra. Hmm. All right, if I had a Wasteland in play, I would have killed this before the ability went on the stack, but don't have it. Goblins won the modern challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna play Goblins tomorrow for sure. Or today, I mean, I don't know, it depends on what do we do after this league. I haven't planned it yet. All right, uh, it's my turn. I'm just untapping here. Let's fetch for a green land. What, Savannah? Yeah. Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. Savannah or Tundra? No, Savannah va bene, see? So I go Savannah. I go Tropical Island, and I go Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. And then I go Wasteland. My one of Wasteland. Um. I could have gone also Caracas to bounce Uro, but I don't want to do that. I think I 
Wonder is playing a blue white standstill. Blue white standstill with Urza Saga. I think that's what they're on. This is playing the full set of Ponder. Because Urza Saga, of course, is very good paired with uh, standstill. Just imagine you go land Ponder, Urza Saga standstill. And that's like the best creature land ever. They shuffle their library. Okay. Opponent, your Tundra over there doesn't look so safe to me. You better put it in the graveyard, please. There's one of Wasteland. It's, it's doing some work. Mm, brain stonks in response. Sure. The problem with the Goblin Z Legacy is that you have to compete with a uh, way higher power level. Whereas in uh, Modern, I mean, the power level obviously is weaker than Legacy. So uh, the Goblins, also in Modern, Goblins is like a combo deck. It doesn't only have to rely on a uh, creature to resolve and stick, things like that. Okay, you're going three lands against one. That's powerful. The Tundra again, it doesn't stick, opponent. It does not stick. What do you do there? Stand still? <gasps> Murky boy? Oh my. I didn't expect you played uh, these type of cards. I, I got a force. I don't have a plow in my hand. Murky boy. No, don't force back. No. Nah. All right. So fortunately, not a legend. Uh, okay, I'll uh, draw now. Or dredge. I mean, I can talk up his catch out. I think I gotta draw. Boom, plow. Ah! Woo! <laughs> bana, 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 bravo, mango, bravo, mango. Let's go for a plow. Opponent, you've been plowed. And now I need. Well, I'll probably just another dual land. Opponent should have punished me for playing non basic lands. And then I go for another set of today. I could have gone. No, I couldn't have gone Laura, Never mind. Narset. Engineered explosives, brain stonks. Brain stonks. Go. And this is when you hear the soul shattering of the opponent. The shame concession. Ah, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yanko88. But your... Your... You can't... Your act cannot go unseen against the eyes of Mango Zernove. I will... It's actually a requirement of mine to screenshot your play. I'm sorry. Narset Parter of the Veil. Earning shame concession since 1999. Is there any magic card that earned more shame concessions than Narset? Yeah, right. Misses the arena. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, see you on Twitter. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, I'm playing against Blue White uh, with Saga and uh, Murky Murky. Uh, a carpet of flowers. It's your time to shine. Oh, the whole sideboard and coming in. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Now, 64 cards. But I actually do not know that much about what I'm gonna do. Probably just cutting what at least one plow. I mean, I know it just won me the game, but I mean, I gotta cut something. I have power blasts, so I think it's fine to cut plow. Uh, I don't cut ending because well, it's 
too good, right? Exhaust Planeswalker as well. Uh, I think a Force of Negation as well. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Keep. I got lands and spells. Oh, Volcanic Cow. Plenty was a lot of dual lands. Although I have like one wasteland. This is that I always drew it, so. That's good. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We caught, we caught Force of Wills. Usually, when you play against blue decks, you do the switch of Force for Pyroblasts, but, you know. Every every matchup depends. Should I drew just drew Uro here? I think I'm playing this Trium. I might regret it. I might regret it. Ah, there's the saga. Alright, alright, we got it we got a main deck dress down. For that. I have no clue what's going on. No clue about what's going on. No clue. Mango has no clue about what's going on. I didn't expect a painter. Ooh, plow. Red main Uh I think I'm simply just drawing these cards and give me a second. I think pure blast is better. Like the opponent cannot combo me next turn, right? Hello, Dark Ebo. Let's just draw a Pyroblast. Oops, I have to make a lane drop. Good did I stop myself at some point. And pass. So I don't want to play necessarily this Pyroblast. Thank you, thank you to Dark Ebo with the third month. I appreciate your support. Unless they, put, they go like Lotus Petal grinds and I lose, but other than that, I'm fine. Hey, I'm not gonna play this Pyro just because I wanna really I wanna draw that. Uh, but if they play a card like Standstill, then I have to Pyro because Standstill is too powerful. So I'll shuffle away the, the thing. Grind of Stone is red indeed. All right, do you have a, a petal? <laughs> Hope you don't have a petal. Okay, that's good. Okay, I draw plow, uh, certainly don't fetch. Uh, what do we want to do? Mm, that's a tricky, that's tricky, what do we want to do? I think I want to just drop Lao, play land and pass because I want to uh, wait to see what they do first, right? If they mill me, they'll they'll spend three mana and then I'll plow this. Yep, that's a very good point. Um, I can uh, endurance myself because if my opponent mills me, they mill my whole deck, but. I don't lose on the spot. I lose if I can't draw. So I always have a window to endurance myself. Thank you, Claudio. <clears throat> Remember, Painter is in addition to other color, so I can still Power Blast any blue card on the stack or into play. Anyway, I, uh, Power Blast works, don't worry. All right, they passed. Draw. I just play land and pass. This is what we do. We have Instant. This is Legacy. Sorceries? Not here. We don't play sorceries. And this way, if they want to mill me, they pay three mana. And I plow the thing. That's very good. I'm not fetching a response. If you want to put the needle on my fetch land, go ahead. Does dress down also work? What did you get? Richer for the foundry. Alright, cool. That's why we have the, the, the prismatic ending. Okay. Uh, so they are milling me with the grindstone. Uh, okay, uh, I'll uh, play this plow in response. Mm. I'll play this plow in response to the painter. 
They can go Wall Blue Elemental Blast. I can Pyro Blast the Blue Elemental Blast. I got a Dual Land uh, Tundra. Sure. I heard that milling me. It's not even that bad because uh, I, have, I have more cards for Uru. I can also go Dress Down. I may consider that. They Hydro Blast my, my, my swords. And now I can Pyro Blast the, the Hydro Blast. Uh, I guess I'm going to do that. Yes. Counter. They have three cards in end. Again, if they win this counter word, let's say they have a Force of Will, I can upkeep Go Endurance. Although, I still would lose the next turn. I'm keeping the Dress down because of the Urza Saga. My opponent is going to make tokens soon. All right, they'll mill me for two. Power Blast Wasteland. All right, Wasteland's not bad, considering that, uh, well, I have two loans in my deck. Yes, you lose the game if you can't uh, dredge any card. Um, drop. Let's go land Uro. No Mystic Sanctuary in my deck. Ooh, Prismatic Ending. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I have Savannah in my deck. <laughs> Big Boss! 45 months for Big Boss. It's a lot of months. Thank you so much, Big Boss. I'm examining Foundry. Uh, they can just always get Grindstone later, so might as well just exile the Foundry there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Big Boss. So much support since uh, since day one, 45 months. And that, it's a long, long time. Okay, so now they will rely on the Saga, but I will just put Uro into play. And you will then lose the game. That's what happens. That's what happens. Uro! I tell the spells, there is no need for any spells here in this deck, in the graveyard. Roddy Orange Fisher, thank you for the Prime sub. A lot of, a lot of subs this morning, that's nice. I'm still not familiar. Uh, that's funny. Hello, Voxy. Okay. Urizen. I'll uh, leave up Dress Down because my opponent is going to make tokens, tokens, blah, blah, blah. And I kill them all. I don't even need to kill them all because I just have Ura in play now. So it's funny that uh, my starting hand was five lands and I've never drawn a single land. Right? I never even played a Bracer. So my starting hand was five lands. No, maybe it was four lands. I don't know, but it was definitely a lot of lands because I considered not playing this on turn one, but I did play it. And all I have now is spell. So that was a, that was a good set of draws for sure. Ooh, they got Relic. It's a little bit too late. Four mana? Ooh. Hmm. So I don't have any force in my deck, so I no reason for me to... Yeah, that's gone. They successfully exiled my card. I got a 10, uh, so 20, I mean. I'll play Brainstorm end of turn. Brainstorms. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of good choices. Do I want to go for a? 
Narset and then dress down. Yeah. I'll go Narset dress down this turn. Brainstorming a response. Uh I think it's okay. I could have power blasted a brainstorm, but uh, uh Yes, this is a Minskin Blue deck. Playing one main, one side. I think I wanna uh, brain dress down in my uh, in my end step. So it remains in play for the duration of my opponent turn. And I don't let them untap with uh, with mana to counter dress down. So end of turn, I draw a card of dress down and uh, my opponent uh, Creatures during their turn do not have text. Yeah, we can. That's 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 what I did. All right, so they go painter servant. Eh, resolves. It doesn't. Wow. They can't name. Even when dressed down leaves, this card hasn't named, so it doesn't work. We like. Successfully countered Painter Servant. Crazy, huh? So this card hasn't done anything. It's a 2 mana 1 3. A Scarecrow, indeed. Uh, do I want to fix my own uh, Narset? Nah, this is probably gonna hit. Carpet of Flower. Actually, though, is I think Loam is better than Carpet. Ah, uh, no, they have Relic. Alright. Infinite mana, it is. Mango, what you do with all this mana? I don't know, but I get infinite mana. Alright, let's go to second main and get infinite mana. Four. Yes. Four blue. Let's start with a brainstorms. Hmm. Let's get rid of uh, uh lens. I mean, carpet is... Uh, is just way too good to be shuffled in my opinion. Then I want to go fetch. I want to exile your a relic. I guess I should have waited a little bit, but whatever. I want to exile your relic. Oh no, then. Uh, okay. Then I okay. Then I want to play the Uro. I'm missing a green land. Oh, I guess I... Uh, I don't have any graveyard, never mind. I have the green land, but I don't have any graveyard to bring this back, so... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, I can just go ponder. And pass. Mm, sure, can, can't bottom these. These are all good cards. Go! Cool. Dress down MVP. Yeah, yeah. Dress down. Dress down is good. Dress down is a good card. Uh, I'm going to Endurance here. Yeah, because I don't want them to kill my Narset. I'm shuffling away a second Endurance, but uh, I'll leave with that. Cast. And of course, I don't target anything. My graveyard is remaining there. If this block goes successfully, uh, it's game over opponent should probably concede. This painter has been successfully first dressed down and then <laughs> endurance. Opponent activates grindstone. Opponent doesn't really know very well things which is fine magic is a very difficult game not everyone can play magic six hours a day is like me or you in the chat mm -mm. Uh, ooh, oh. Let's see Let's attack first. 
What are you missing? Well, uh, it's a very weird interaction, actually. I should have a cat carpet first, but whatever. I'm clicking buttons right now. Very weird interaction happened. I... I dressed down to my opponent painter. So I didn't name anything when it came into play. Yeah. I should have obviously played pay carpet first. It would have given me three mana. It's like solar ring. Carpet is solar ring. If you play commander, carpet of flowers is solar ring in, in legacy. The problem is though, of course, that uh, it's card disadvantage. So if you don't play it on turn uh, one, two, it's bad later. You power blast my Narset. All right. I'm gonna power blast the, the brainstorm here or the pond or whatever they play. Yeah. Hydro. Hydro. All right. You successfully got your brainstorm. You took my team or in X list. Oh, that's. Um, that's not mine, but yeah, yeah, that's a little list that we can we can run one day. No, adios, adios, uro, libolik. Thank you for subscribing, libolik. I am welcoming you to the team of Minsk and Booze, Minsk and Booze. You got the Minsk? I got the booze. Doo -doo -doo. Can I attack you for seven? Woo woo! Minsk and Boo wins the first match. All right, chat. I'll take a bathroom break. Round number three. We got. Almost lands and spells. We got almost lands and spells, so that's a keep for me. Put a mulligan to six. It's a nice mel, yeah. Legacy is always uh it's always fun to play. Mountain? Dragon's Ray Chandler? What's that? Gamble? Dragon's Rage, Chandelier. All right. Draw. Mm -hmm. Now I now I took the I got to go plane. I have to go island. But all right. I see land, so that's important. That's important. Am I surprised that a new planeswalker is strong enough for for legacy? A little bit, of course. Ooh, somebody doesn't have a land over there. Would I add Leyline Binding to my Fur Color Vegan combo? That's a great question. Yeah, I'll definitely try it. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, they surveilled the wasteland in the graveyard. Uh, with the channeler ability. I'm just gonna go land go pass. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't want to fetch for a tundra. My opponent most likely has more wasteland where they come from, so I'm just gonna go brainstorm end of turn, and then I'll decide what to fetch. If it's just one damage, no rush. So end of turn, we go brainstonks. What's that? Blue, blue, blue. Okay. And a 4 4 Merc? Huh. I mean, I might force off with that one. I don't know. 
Probably not. It's just a 3-3. But might as well just brainstorm now. Like, I wanted to brainstorm in any way. Okay, so no ways for me to get... Um, What do I want to shuffle back? Is it Narset? Could be. I think I really like every other card. Three mana, three three flyer. Not too bad. I'll fetch for a uh time for Savannah. Let's go for a Savannah since it's weaker. Uh then what do I want to do? I can go. Prismatic and the gear. Remember, plows are needed for the Merc Tide. And then I can go Land Ponder. Yeah, very important to play around days and spots like this. Hmm. So these cards aren't great. I think I'm shuffling. What what my opponent play of Merc Tide there tells me that uh, they have another Merc Tide in end. So there are three cards and should be what? Dade's Merc Tide? Okay, they pass. It's very important that they don't draw expressive iteration. Very important. Uh, let's just set up the dress down Uro. Nah. Nah. Let's just go Uro. With what? With Island. Yeah. I go Island Uro here. If they daze, that's okay. No, no problem. If they don't daze, it's also good. Oh, last turn? No, I didn't want to get my Uro Days last turn. You don't want to make them spell cast spells when they have Channeler in play, remember. If they have Channeler in play, you don't want to make them cast spells. Now, here, I let my opponent cast Days, which obviously I could have avoided, but... What if they didn't have Days? Like, at the end of the day, I could have also not had it, you know? They just bolt me and cast a new Merc Tide. Hmm. New Merc Tide is gonna pump the old one for six, for three, so that's six damage down to three already. <laughs> We're basically dead. I'm dead to a Lightning Bolt already. Oh no, they drew iteration. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Treasure Cruise! They drew the Treasure Cruise. And now they can go Mystic Sanctuary, put Iteration back on top. Mamma mia. Iteration back on top actually pumps Merc that Regent as well. So, Poonan actually does it now. Look at that. They go Iterate, they go Sanctuary, put back the Iteration on top, pump the Merc Tide, play new Merc Tide, attack me for seven. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> oh, it's okay. I have one Supreme Verdict, which I actually can't cast because of my. My lands. Am I dead on board? I got a two. Yeah. I got a two even, even if I go Uro. If I just left up Dress Down, it would have been so good. If Luster and I leave up Dress Down, I'm in a great shape. I leave up Dress Down, they... I'm in not a great shape because they have iteration on top, but I have two three threes and I'm on six life and I can flash back war this turn. And I played around these. Alright, chat, it's what it is. Uh maybe not, because I do it in my hand. So it was obviously it would still be hard. Okay, but now we are sideboarding. We have a lot of cards to bring in for this matchup. That's ten cards. That's 10 cards. Maybe you take out Narset.
Yeah. On the play. Let's go. Island Ponder. Hmm, not bad. Uh, do, 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 not bad. Go. Bubble. They see my top car, so they see Power Blast. That's an important uh, knowledge. The problem here is that if I Power Blast the Delver, I can wasteland me my land. So Power Blast is mostly like a late game car for iteration, but obviously Delver is also a problem. For now, I'm just going land go. This deck would desperately want an Arkham's Astrolabe to fix all this. Huh. To fix all these mana problems. I think I'm still going for Hydro Blast on Delver. Sorry, for Power Blast on Delver. If they go for a Wasteland, I think it's fine. Like, I have two lands, I have a Brainstorm. And that means they just have their island. Hmm. Plus a storm. All right. I didn't expect that. Sure. I may shoot a power blast in my turn, but then, like, if this thing doesn't flip, I don't want to kill it, you know? All right. Let's see if they have a wasteland. I hope they don't, so that I can cast my aura. Oh, they have the wall in there. Oh, okay. Huh, funny. It drew super verdict. Zero white mana for me. <laughs> All right, let's cast Ura since I can't cast Endurance. And we're scary now. Like, it sits in the graveyard. Some list play Terminus instead of Supreme Verdict, and now I would have the Brainstorm Terminus set up. What are the strengths of this new Planeswalker? As it draws cards very soon, and uh, well, like not in the same ways that um, Jason must have to draws cards. So it creates card advantage very soon, and like very much. Like it, minus two, it's mostly f draw four. It does have a lot of weaknesses, but um, I think the main appealing is the um, the combination of pressure and card advantage. In this matchup, I like to bring in an extra Minskin Boo because of the Surgical on Uro, which is a pretty common play from the Delver side. Uh, this way they surgical your Uro, sure they go down a card, but your deck kind of like loses the main engine. Oh, draw. Hmm. I'll pass. He can be your commander, that's true. Minsky Boo Thomas Zeroes can be your commander. It can be. Happy to have drawn my second forest. 
I wonder now if I should play Endurance. I'm not. Obviously, they can go Lend, Merc Tide. But, I mean, I think I want to keep Endurance as a surprise effect. It's very surprise effect if it works. They can have Force of Will, but, you know, <laughs> that can be set for any spell. So, happy to play Endurance here. Hmm. Very nice. No force of will. Huh. Bada boom. Pch I eat your Delver for breakfast, says Endurance. A very pushed guard for the Dragon's Ridge Chandler Delver decks. I think I'm passing here. They probably have power blast in their hand, so I don't. I don't need to cast anything. I don't need to cast anything. Is this a good deck for a new legacy player? Eh, probably not. Oh, look at that! They wanted to resolve a, a expressive iteration. Nope. Again. Nice. Alright. Let's go to game three. I'll be on the draw now with my Supreme Verdict in a team or mana base. And definitely one of the challenging things of this deck is the mana base. One of the many. I would say one of the many challenging things of this deck is the mana base. Alright. Let's go. Game number three against Blue Red Delver. The Boogeyman of Legacy. The most played deck by a very wide margin. Buongiorno Claudio. Yes, yes, I know that. Oh, Claudio says I should bring in Flasta Storm against Blue Red Delver. I think I'm too late though. I already submitted. Hmm, that's true. Flasta Storm is uh, one of the ways to answer the. ones are the expressive iteration I guess okay we are beginning again putting keeps and no one drop wow no one drop no one drop that's okay happy 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 when Delver doesn't play one drop it's always like you start from 20 life otherwise against Delver sometimes you start from like 14 life Did I catch any of the no ban list tournament? Uh, I no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't see any Twitch this weekend. Boom boom. Boom boom. Go opponent. You don't need to make spells. If you've seen me playing brainstorming legacy, you've seen mostly brainstorming my hand and not in my graveyard. Whoa! No, vabbè. For real? You eat two of your fetch lands? No. Por que? Por que Benante have you done that? Ay ay ay, opponent uh, doesn't have any proactive cards. Opponent, don't expect me to do anything. Don't expect me to do anything. I got land drops. I got land drops. I have nowhere to go. I'm not casting a single spell. Don't you worry. Remember, Blue Red Delver plays very few lands. They play 15 lands. 
Okay, sure. They can play Game Troopers. I wonder why they did not Game Troop in their turn then. Ooh, I think they have Force of Negation, chat. I think they have Force of Negation. It's hard to play Supreme Verdict in this deck. Yeah. It's also hard to counter Supreme Verdict. That's two hard things in one card. Still not doing anything. No rush. I will eventually go ending on hers. Not when they have Force of Negation up. Oh, they don't shuffle? Okay, I'll keep shuffle. Opponent very diligent. <laughs> and it takes a while. This deck is low. If the opponent also plays low, you can get draws. Oh, they don't have land. I'm going to let you discard all your cards, opponent. Get ready. We're going to go to the best phase in Magic, the Isker phase. The Discord phase. I don't even want to wasteland you because you have hurts. I just don't want to give you any card from my graveyard. Okay, play blue. What do you do? I think it's in the shower. We're in second main here. My opponent didn't wait till the end step. You love my YouTube channel? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so opponent obviously misclicked since we're in second main. Now I can do something. Uh, well, I can do something now. Do I want to go ending? I think so. I think now I want to go ending. Just because they can't Arcast Force, so I'm going to let this resolve and then go ending. Ooh, planes. And if they want to Force of Negation, they have to pitch a card now. They don't. Very nice. Do I go brainstorms? Uh, nah. If they want to use a red elemental blast to counter my brainstorm, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. You can go now. You didn't even examine my flower strand. All right. Pretty poor performance by this unlicensed Urza, I have to say. He came into play, exiled two lands from their graveyard, and left. I mean, obviously, left with their removal spell. So, at least they got a one for one. Ponder. You know what time is it? It's the time that I draw Carpet of Flowers. And then it wins me the game because that's the best card in Legacy. You've never used MTGO. Not easy. Not easy program. How can you use how many cards your opponent has in hand? Here. You see this big 17 number on top? It says 5. 6. That's the card in the end. Next it says 44. That's a card in deck. And this is the timer remaining before their defeat. And this is their nickname. And this is the card in graveyard, card in exile, card revealed, and I don't know, weird the thing. It's clear if you know what you're looking for. If you don't, it's not clear. Delver, ooh. This is where I would like Supreme Verdict. You know, just because they probably are hoarding up on counter magic and you just want to cast an uncounterable uh, wrath. Life from the loam. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. We gotta do something here. What are we gonna do? I kind of want to wasteland that bulk and play Uro. That's not a bad idea. What if I bought him two cane trip? What if I bought him two cane trip? No, but bet that two cantrip is too many to bottom. What if I bought him cantrip, cantrip, and just draw one of them? Actually, you know what? I want to bottom two cantrips here. Hmm, maybe I'll bottom tropical island, actually. Okay, let's bottom. No, because then if they wasteland my misty, hmm, my mist and boo, hmm. Dai, due cantrip, adios. Let's get a catcher triomir. On top, Wasteland Main Phase 1. 
Second main, Uro, Life Room Dalong. Top blue, second main. Can I just draw a carpet to do? Imagine drawing carpet here. It would make things much easier. Let's go Uro, they're never countering this. Should you pick up Minsk and Boo for Night Adepts? Sure. I don't know. And then I also go Loam. If they want to daze it, you're welcome. If you don't, then I draw three cards. I don't know why, but Naya Depths, Green White Depths, are decks that I never seen in um, in Italy. Like, actually, nobody plays them. But people mention it all the time when I talk with American legacy content creator or players. Maybe it's because in Italy people play way more combo than they do in America. So whenever I go to Four Seasons, I always get paired against two Anasim, one Reanimator, you know, one Infect, and things like that. And those aren't good matchup. I think that must be the reason. The fling ability good. Uh, sure. Uh, Sacrification deals 7 to any target. Yeah. What's the next paper event I'm attending? It's the most important event uh, in Italy. It's the Four Seasons, if, you, if you're a legacy player, it's Four Seasons Tournament. It's happening this weekend in Bologna. Saturday, it's modern, legacy, Sunday is legacy. I've been, I've been practicing a lot for this. Because these two are my favorite formats right now. So I'm really, I'm really testing a lot here. Right, so, um, I'm gonna go ponder looking for removal spells. I'm putting this for back to back brainstorm. Not a very common line, I have to say. Thank you, Claudio. Six damage. You vaguely remember me top hating a legacy event. Yeah, it was the Four Seasons uh, three months ago. It was in June. 393 players. And this one might be even bigger. Okay, they go Surgical on Uro. Again, this is a very powerful play. And the reason why we got Minsk in our deck is because once they Surgical your Uro, your card advantage engine, your main card advantage engine is gone. And now you have to rely on what? Not much, just on like loam carpet of flowers, but you need the Minsk and Boo in your deck. I mean, now I drew two of them, which is a little bit clunky, but you need them in your deck because your opponent is very likely going to remove your aura, okay? Why no endurance? What do you want me to do? Discard two cards to clean my graveyard? Nah, I'm not doing that. Plus, Andrews is like the best thing ever on this board stage. All right, listen. Just remove the ability Evoke from uh, the Elementals. You're gonna play much better, listen to me. Every time you Evoke an Elemental, you have to ask it like three times. It's like when you're closing a document on Word without saving it, you know? Just ask it twice. Should I really discard two cards to do this effect? The answer is very often no. All right, I don't think I'm on a dredge because I'm behind in board state and I don't have ore in my deck. All right, now that I know about my endurance, so of course, like, all right, let's go ponder because I want to find removal spells or pyroblasts. I mean, that's a lot of removal spells. Okay, hydroblasts also are not bad. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ending. Uh, Shuffle everybody, no. Mm, no dredge, thank you. Then I want to uh, Wasteland Endurance. Actually, I'm gonna go Wasteland. First, I cast Endurance. Very important to play around uh, Merc that Regent. 
And then I end in the Delver. Ooh, they go force. Okay. Force pitch Merc tide. Okay. Now I end in the Delver. And then I uh, Wasteland the Volk. They have three cards in it. If they have days, I'm paying, of course. Force Pitch Fluster. So they remained with one card in hand. Force Pitch Fluster. Eh, hey, now it's hard. Now it's very hard. I'm going to manage to answer everything I got. With Double Force. Which is uh, easier to answer things. Unless they are Supreme Verdict, of course. That's the, the best uh, answer to this board state. I'm going to dredge now. Because on top of the deck, there's two bad cards. Unfortunately, I can't... Oh, yeah. I can't fling uh, Amster to Brazen Borer. That's good. Although, uh, it's all good for now. Uh, do I want to... Hmm. Do I want to draw Bloom at the Blast? Hmm, maybe I do. Because Bloom at the Blast protects me from Lightning Bolt. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually drawing it. It's likely my opponent board it out. But, uh, let's go uh, this... Let's see, let's see what they do. They have two cards. I hope it's not uh, Hydroblast. That would be incredible if they have Hydroblast now. I mean, obviously they could have it. Uh, the next card is uh, Volcanic Island, so I'm for sure dredging. Okay, so Minskambur resolves, now triggers, so they can bolt it with the ability on the stack, but they didn't. So I'm going to minus it immediately, sacrifice Boo and kill Brazen Bee, and draw a card as well. I could have attacked first, but I don't care about it. Draw. Oh, never mind. Did not let me draw. Nice. Thank God Magic Online remembered me to loan first. All right. So, dredge. Hmm. Now, do I go to five to play this loam? Hmm. Do I want to go to five? If I go to five and play loam, my opponent just goes bolt, I die. Can I play around bolt? Probably not. Should have probably fetched and not dredged. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have fetched and not dredged. Because I'm dying to the... Uh, I guess I'm not necessarily dying to the Insect Elaboration because I have a second Minsk. All right, you know what? I think I can leave... I can beat a bolt off the top of my opponent deck, so I'm just passing without playing Loam. Although, if you think about it, next turn I can go Wasteland... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to five here. All right, I think I'll go to five. I'll tell you why. Uh, my opponent very likely doesn't have bolted in because if they did, it would have killed my Minsk. So obviously they can like go draw it now and kill me with it, but I can live with that. Whereas what I can't live with is next turn, if I have a Wasteland in my hand, I can Wasteland the land and then play Minsk. Minsk. Whereas if I go low, I don't have the mana to do everything next turn. So I'm going to five now and tapping out. Playing around Bolt? Yes, but they don't have Bolt because they would have... Oh, I don't have a green land in my deck. Never mind. We can't do whatever I want to do, so I'll pass. You go, opponent. I apparently milled all the green sources. Just drew them all, actually. Yep. All right, you go. Go. Three card. Yeah, 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 get a new boo and everything. Yeah, I have a way to kill Delver. If they don't <laughs> they do not do anything, I do have a way to kill Delver. It's just that they probably kill my Minsk. Oh, they go face? Va bene. Va bene, they go face. So I'm going to get a new token. I can pump it. Sack for four, why not? And then play new Minsk and throw and fling the, the Delver. Let's see what they do. One red. Trundler. Eh, 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 let's count it this, right? That is a 3-3 with flying. I can't let that resolve. I got a new token, because that's what this card does. So for now, this card was a 4-mana Planeswalker that killed the creature, drew a card, and now it makes me a 4-4. Four, four. And now it makes me a 4-4. Four, four. I wouldn't mind drawing Carpet of Flowers, by the way. <laughs> I mean, maybe now it's not, not good anymore, because they won't land, but... 
Yeah, I guess it's not good. I don't know why I complain about that. Anyway, we're fine here. Can I go Loam Wasteland? Yeah, I'm gonna go Loam Wasteland. And then Minsk and Boo. Yeah. Let's go Loam. Oh, they're at 16 over there. Very good. The one Wasteland Loam package. Just way to meet a game here. Uh, let's choose the one with three counters, shall we? Oh, we got another token? That's okay, I actually don't want it. Thank you, though. And then I can sacrifice my boo-boo. And boo-boo-boom. Opponent with zero permanence on turn eight. This is how we like our opponents, chat. This is how we like our opponents. Draw four, never mind. Don't mind me. Just drawing four cards and discarding of end size. Let's take a screenshot, because this is a fun board state. Sorry, opponent. Wait a second. I got a screenshot of this board state. You can go. Ba-boom! And they pass! And we on top! And close the window. The window has been closed. Too much wind outside. Do you ever actually go back to your screenshots? I usually post them on Twitter as we go. Actually, this is a much better screenshot because he it it gets the Yori Grande wins the match. Okay. 3-0. It's been hard. This match has been hard. But we got there. And we didn't even draw the best card against the other Carpet of Flowers. So it showed the power of the deck for sure. All right, let's begin. Round number four on the play. A little bit clunky, but we got ending. Can't mulligan a hand with four lands and ending. Mm, right. Let's begin round number four with Prismatic Ending and your turn. Prismatic Ending can get us a planes. We don't play Ice Fan Coatl, so no worries in that. Swamp. Stitcher Supplier. Right. Is that a Gak? Wow. <laughs> sure. Anime dead? They named them, they target themselves. And mill three and two with Sage Supplier. What in the world? Sorry for the picture not loading. They named four so full. Never mind, they didn't target themselves. Whoa, they named four so full. Okay. Oh, <laughs> pog, 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 pog. Uh, pass. Endurance is a good draw against a reanimator deck. Hello, Oprimo. Dark Ritual. Cabal Therapy. A nudge. Hopefully they name Prismatic Ending. They named Flash the Storm. That's weird. For season winter is already scheduled. I don't know yet. I think it's gonna be around December. They animate that teacher supplier. What? I have two more about there. Oh, it's okay, right? I can't counter. I don't even did a citrus supplier. 3 4 December. Okay, cool. Yeah, 3 4 December. That's my birthday. You build a grief. Right. And they could both therapy me. So, you mill three more. 
Dance Ecolily, World Gorge Dragon. Do I go for an Andorance now? So, if I go for an Andorance, uh, they kind of, like, we're both on three lands, <laughs> three cards and then two lands. I think it's okay, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna have no no spells. But I'm gonna get rid of the World Gorge Dragon. And also Cabal Therapy. Three and tombs, though. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going for it. So I'm hell bent. I am hell bent. Eh, well, we basically just restart a game on a Mulligan 2 4 each. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, they had an entomb. Put Grazy Brian into the graveyard. The thing is that it wouldn't have mattered that much. Like, there's still Cabal Therapy Resolve on Endurance. And, and, and I have Miskin Buen and Dangan End, which do nothing, and they just have Grazy Brand, you know. All right, GG, we died. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing I could have done. I even top decked Ender and there. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, not much in my sideboard for this matchup. For Mono Black. Mono Black. Keep. Wasn't it better to endurance in response to anyway did? Well, if they didn't mill anything relevant with the Stitcher Supplier, I wouldn't have uh, endurance, but they milled uh, uh, Work or Dragon. So they needed a fourth Entomb in their hand to win the game. That's why I I didn't do it in a response. If they had no good creatures in a graveyard, then I'm not uh, playing endurance. Okay, uh, let's do the first. Keeping. I am keeping indeed. Swamp Pass. <clears throat> I'm gonna go what end of turn brainstorm? Yeah. Brainstorm cabal therapy. Source to plow shares. Dark ritual with I have a flusser storm in my hand. Rotting reaches or Kill ball. Uh, let's go for a brainstorm. Madonna, the cat of the merda. 
Uh, would I dress down a seizure player? Yeah. I left him plow, right? I did take out the ending, though. Allora, uh, Let's take a while. Loman Field. Yeah, Loman Field. Let's take the... Okay, should I try him? Four cards in your hand. Draw. Savannah. Let's play Ponder. See if I find a plow. I do. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna plow immediately so they don't discard uh, Grace of Brand or whatever. And perfect, the top of the deck is actually stacked because I have Narset and then Force of Negation. Couldn't imagine a better ponder, to be honest. What a ponder that was. And, yeah, all right, great. Now I can go land, Nar uh, Narset, minus, get Force. No, we're in great shape. Entomb. Well, I have to force. I have to fluster. Weird, because they know I fluster. Oh, why do I go for a dark ritual to pay? I think that's what sex for me, actually. Either they... I mean, because they knew I fluster. I guess they have ritual and pay. Yeah. No, no, okay. It was just a bait. Was it a master bait? It was a bait. I wouldn't call it a master bait, though. Tropical. Oh, what did it fetch? What did it fetch? What did it fetch? Now I don't have the force of negation on top anymore. I guess I had to fetch. No, I don't. I didn't have to fetch. I dressed down to draw it. Yeah, that was a mistake. Ay ay ay. Mistake, 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 mistake. I had a force of negation on top. Porca merda. No, I didn't have to fetch. I had a uh, dress down. Okay, let's find another force. I do. Very good. Nothing changed. Very nice. I guess it did change and that I have an arsenal in play instead of uh, not having it. Go. Will update my Vivian combo with Dominaria. I was considering. I was considering playing. Uh, oh, this is the Wincon with run it with um, with Wargorge Dragon. Very good. Okay, I think now we can we can even just slam the Minsk. Yeah, I'm slamming the Minsk. And this is and this is good. Like having a planeswalker that you can just put into play and win the game in two turns against combo, it's it's nice. I mean obviously the reason why I'm winning this game is because my opponent, you know, didn't uh, disrupt me and, and pressure me like they did in the previous game. But again and of course just my sculpture would have also won the game. It's just that this card is like fine and also does the James and my sculptor thing. So it's like both of it. And this is why it's good. Cabal therapy. And they know I have both force and negation. I guess they know I have also dress downs, right? So I'm gonna force this. Because they, they could have named dress down, and if they do that, they get rid of two cards, and then I don't have two forces up. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it didn't matter. Draw. Attack. Shoot you for four, draw four. A boat. I guess I'll play Brainstorm. Hmm.
Cool. And and once you might do the minus two, it's over. If you draw four cards in Legacy, the game is over. Your your cards are good, so you, you can't lose. And then you beat down again with a 4-4. Four, four. I honestly don't even want to play any card. I'll just uh, attack and pass. And next turn they die because I can... No, actually, never mind. Hmm. Maybe I could play Endurance. Do I win with Endurance? No. Oh, yes, I do. Endurance is 11 damage. Okay, I will. I will play Endurance. I mean, again, it's, it, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm just uh, winning as fast as I can now. The World Gorger Dragon Combo. Wraith Evoked. Mm, I guess I can go Dress Down. Yeah, I'll go Dress Down. Oh my chat. Cazzarola. Am I losing here? Am I losing the game? Because I can discard Brainstorm and then Color Therapy Force. Uh, results. I mean, they have three cards. They can go entomb, reanimate. I'll let it resolve again. Endurance, remember, does dress down, so it doesn't work. So, like, we're going to dragon and everything else. They named endurance, okay. They have three cards. Next turn, I win. I have two Minsk, so I attack for seven and shoot seven. The go we're going to dragon. And they, they pass. This thing dies. I... I want to shuffle. Draw. Attack for seven. Play Minsk. And shoot for seven. All right. Good. And you'd be like, oh, Minsk can book one. I mean, it didn't win. Of course it didn't win. But it just closes the window against the combo deck in three turns and drew four cards. You know? Well, of course, Jism and Sculpture would have also been good, but... The combination of you're dead in three turns and they drew four cards in the process is very strong of this card. So this is why this is what you have to see. Does this mean that now this deck is good in Legacy because it wasn't that good before? Probably it's still not the best, but obviously it's a good addition. Alright, now opponent plays a Rotting Regisor. 
I want to change my deck for it. Probably kind of sucks. So uh, got that one. Uh, I don't like a blue or green card, so they are all in because of forces and endurance. All right, let's go. It kills Narset instead of being dead to it. Yep, that's another point. All right, I got force and endurance, so I'm happy. Yeah, opponent went to Dark Ritual uh, Riding Ridges or a game too. Thankfully, I found a plow with my ponder, or I would have maybe died to it. Nice. I found my blue card as well. Very nice. You know what? I'm playing Catcher Triumph here. So I got two protections right now. Yeah, I want to get my top lens out of the way. Ooh, they, they might get to five and they don't have a second land. That's nice. I'll go I'll go ponder now. I'll go ponder now. I find an R set. Find a force. Next turn I draw Savannah and then I minus Narset and I get uh, Force of Will. Yeah. All right. Is it is it five zero for Minsk and Boo Boo? Thank you to Tilt at two two one one. With the Prime sub, thank you so much. Lots of subs today for the Minsk and Boo Boo action. Cabal Therapy, all right. They don't have Flasso Storm. And honestly, this is why I got Flasso Storm and not Force. Because if I get Force and the Cabal Therapy, it's bad. So I got Flasso Storm and they just went for one me now. Ziggy Mantas Row, thank you for the Prime sub. No, they named Endurance. Okay, I'll allow it. Weird though, I have pot I fluster revealed. It's okay. Oh, but it definitely hasn't been ghosting in a previous day game, so I'm not gonna accuse them of ghosting now. It's just fine. They got a right call, and that's okay. If this was game one, I would have accused them of ghosting, but it's not game one, so it's all good. Thank you, thank you, to the two prime so now. Oh, you reanimate my endurance. Mm, sure, right? I mean, I definitely leave with a 3 4. Can definitely leave with a 3 4. Mm hmm. Remember when I was playing Eldrazi's? Um, actually, I was cutting Thought Not Seer or Reality Smasher from my deck because. It's so common for them to sorry, not reality smash, not Donuts here. I was cutting reality smasher and like and bringer because it was so common for them to just reanimate your own thing. Sorry, your things. Okay, let's go for a Uro. I don't think I want to plow the endurance. I'll let him kill my Narset. If I'm if I'm if I'm not wrong, my opponent doesn't draw any cards, right? Oh, I guess I have Grizzabrand. Mm, but I mean, I have so many forces that Grizzabrand should never resolve. Flip lock is that therapy? I got I just lost her therapy deck. I don't want to keep plow for the uh, rotting ridges or that's large. I have that they know I flossed from in end. I think they know this 
this four cards here. Yeah, I think they know there's four cards here. Cabal Therapy. It's a cool card. That's a very cool card. Definitely rewards for just rewards good player. For understanding uh, magic. Oh, Minskin Boo, hello. I, I want to go for it. Nah, okay, let's go brainstorm first. It's hard now to justify going for Minskin Boo, though. Yeah, I think it's too hard to justify going for Minskin Boo here. Yeah, man, my, 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 my cards are too good. I don't want to shuffle anything. But I mean, if they come out therapy, I just fluster. I don't, I don't see the problem. But why do I have to play Blau when I can just fluster the Cabal Therapy? What do you mean if they go land Cabal Therapy? Nah, that's fine. Uh, What do I pitch? I, I want to go Minsk. It's too risky. Maybe too risky. No, nah, it's still risky. I can't go Minsk. Uh, let's do something else here. Like what? I don't know. Like plowing. Land pass. Ooh, second land. Okay. I draw the whatever card I had on top. I remember it was a good one. I don't remember what it was though. What was it? Ponder. Okay. Let's go for Minsk. And this one will close the window. The window is gonna slowly close on the opponent as we attack with a reality smasher. Go, boo. Grief. I'll allow it. I will allow the grief. It's cool how with endurance, you don't even need to play surgical anymore in the sideboard. You just have endurance. On top of the deck, there is another card. Uh, Uro. No, I don't want Uro now. I'll fetch for a Tundra. Draw. Supreme Verdict. That's okay. Uh, but I think I just want to win the game. I don't even want to draw. Th I don't even. I don't even want to draw. Cards. I just want to win the game here. Ta da! Bye, bye, bye. GG. Mm. They go for an end tomb. Uh, okay. Boo. GG
Ok, 4-0. 4-0. Can we get a trophy with the means can boo? Can we start the week with a nice little trophy? Can we get a trophy? It must be said that uh, I've played against the three decks that uh, aren't very common and one blue red delver. Uh, yeah, I mean. The deck felt functional, so that's why you play. That's why you play League for practice. And you will ask me again. Uh, what, what do you ask me again? Hardy Lowell. Amster Beetle Drazis, yeah. Did you the Eternal Surprised? Good game, sir. Well played. I like the. Endurance name in the third game. I mean, the thing with Minsk and Boo is that it's clearly a powerful card. The thing is that sh would you rather play this version of Control Deck or play the Just Get Control Deck that uh, Angelo Cade won uh, the challenge with yesterday? I mean, they're both like. Uh, they're both good choices. I mean, they're both control decks if you're a control player. Uro is weak to Graveyard 8, whereas just Sky Control doesn't care about Graveyard 8. Let's go, round number five, for the trophy. Nice hand, very nice hand. Very nice hand. Let's begin with the legacy staple turn one play. Catch your triumph, your turn. Bloodstained Mire, go. Hmm. That sounds like a combo deck to me. I'm gonna go for a ponder here. Before fashion. I'm not a Delver deck. A Delver deck would fetch first, but this deck I think I can do this so that I can just pick up a good card like a Horse of Will and, um, and then I can shuffle the rest. That's exactly what I envisioned and exactly what happened. Even these tiny little things matter. Again, in Legacy Delver, you fetch first because you want to go Ponder Delver or Ponder, Ponder Delver and then have it flipped. But here, I don't have a one drop that I want to play now. So, and even if I, even if I drew another Ponder, there's no rush in playing it this turn, okay? Swamp. If they go for an N2, I'm about to force it. What with the tricky swamp, the one that reminds me of a mountain? Dothy Void Walker. All right. That, <laughs> that's a, such a happy see. I'm so happy to see Dothy Void Walker. All right. Let's fetch the top of the deck because. There was a bad card. Uh, there was a wasteland, right? Okay, so we do want a meteor, Savannah, Tundra, Tundra, yeah, Tundra. 
you're up. Uh, I plow immediately. I played land go. I, I would have gone Uro plow. Maybe I should have done that actually. Ah, I should have done that chat. I should have gone Uro and with the escape on the stack, I could have plowed it. Yeah. Oh, Liliana de Vil. <laughs> Can I cast Uro already? With mountain mega cats? Right, let me think, because Dress down three. Karin's got four. Yeah, I can. I can cast Uro next turn. Although they do have Liliana in play. You know what? I'm actually forcing this. I'm actually forcing Liliana. Because, well, while I still draw a card, what, what else do I need to force from my opponent deck, you know? Three swamps, one mountain. Turak kicked. Not bad. The best card is in my graveyard, so it's all right. As long as they don't surgical me. I'll put Uro into play now. Do -do 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 I'll play both of these lands. My opponent can have a uh, Blood Moon. I don't know. Turek is pearl white, so I can't plow it, but I mean, there's Uro, so. If they kill me, I Uro, on the other hand. I. Well, it'll take a while before escaping it. You can see the Battle of Titans now. You can see the Battle of Titans now. The Battle of Elder Giants. Did I play any legacy card? Yes, they played a uh, Anturak. <laughs> Drop. Let's play all these lands because they have Krog Sign to Rack, so I don't want to be caught with any lands in my hand. Two mountains. I have no clue what the opponent deck is doing. Eh. Yeah. That's part of the magic online uh, <laughs> aspect of the game. That list are not revealed. You have, you really have no clue what's going on. With a full house of basic lands. Can they escape Kirksa? Not yet. They're missing the card. Thoughtsies. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they tosses themselves for an entity wreck. And they're gonna escape Kirksa. That's okay. Their hand is a basic mountain. Now, I put it as well as three mountains with no single red card yet to be seen. What is modern legal so far? Well, they have anti Turek. Is opponent for zero? No, no. In Legacy, there's not that many players, so they just can't pair you with the same record. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go Brainstorm first. Not bad. Uh, what do I do here? I don't know. Engineered explosives. Track. Attack. Pass. 
There's a plow on top. I decided to do this way because, you know, super verdict is worse than a plow. All right, they conceded. Well, that's what happens when you play with Uro and your opponent doesn't kill it. It's very hard to lose. Uh, okay, one game from the trophy. One game away from the trophy chat. Hmm. Hmm. Counters are bad. Maybe counters are bad, but at the end of the day, they have cards like Turak that you really want to counter, right? What about Dress Down? What about Dress Down? Is Dress Down good? I think I want to keep my forces. Although I've cut a lot of blue cards this way. Whistling's bad. Thank you. Yeah, Whistling's bad. You think they don't play any... You think they don't play any... Useful lands? It's possible. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we're the last game. Swamp go. Alright. I think I'm gonna go Island Ponder. I am a little bit scared that my opponent plays Blood Moon in their deck. Hmm. That's a good card. I'll draw my fourth land, and I'll keep the Prismatic Ending on top. Ponder third. I mean, Ponder also great draw. Ooh, they have the Badlands. All right. And the Plecozza. Okay. Do I discard a land and take three damage, or just discard like a Supreme Verdict, which is probably never going to see play? And this way I save three damage. I think it's good. So I'll just go land go because I have a ponder on top. Am I worried about Turak? Am I worried about Turak? I should have probably been worried about Turak. Yes, I didn't think about it. Hmm. Another Crooks. Oh. Uh, what do I want to discard here? Maybe just go brainstorm your response now. So that I can discard a bad card, like a dress down and uh, shuffle away. Honestly, I like all these lands. I definitely want to keep both Brazematic Ending. Hmm. I shuffle away um, a Tropical Island. Yeah. So I'll do this. And I'll uh, just discard Kroxa. Sorry, I meant to discard the, the dress down. I'll uh, fetch up a planes and play Ponder. This way I don't have a tropical eye on top of my deck. Uh, I don't like any of these. Nice. Opponent wants to discard cards. I got low home. That's very nice. The discard plan is not gonna work. Although I must be said, I have discarded two spells, so the crooks that did its things, but it's not gonna be effective anymore. Because now I just have lands to discard forever. For days. If they go track and hit my Minsk though, that would be bad. Although I just added three 
lands to my hand, so. Oh, Thoughtseize, aye, aye, aye. Man. Now I have nothing going on. Now I have nothing going on, unfortunately. Hopefully they don't put any protection from white threats into play. No! Well, why didn't you kick her it? No, vabbè. They play perfectly around my hand of minus two ending. Well done, opponent. Uh, do I want to loam until I find an Uro? I think so. I found an Uro. Although I have a planes, but I had to, I had to take planes, so I can't complain about that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'll fetch for a oh forest island, whatever doesn't matter. I'll go loam and I'll pass. And next turn I can escape Ura. Hopefully though they don't. Uh, I don't know surgical it. Haunted Ridge, lol. No, the bear. I have to show this to my friend because he said that he goes. Shadow Prophecy is better than uh, than Painful Truth. I said, I don't know, it's a common. But he knew it, chat. My friend knew about it. The whole time. Let's dredge. Let's go. Ooh, oh. Ooh, oh, I exile both cards that aren't lands. Mm, do I want to draw? Do I want to dredge? No, I'll die. Should have dredged. Should have dredged. Okay, pass. Gay Rage Sani Re Gay Reach Sanitarium chat. Each player draws a card and discards a card. Wow, look at that. They're Fueling their Turak. Aggressive. Oh, that's my field. Discard a card. Caracas? Oh, yes. Caracas on Turak. <laughs> that's funny. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm dredging. I'm dredging, I'm dredging. Field of the dead. Attack. Caracas. Caracas is indeed a plains. Uh, sorry, it's indeed, it's not white. It's because it's a land. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. I take it. I take it. I take the trophy. Oh, look at that. They bounced my... They grow their Turak because they discarded a vent size. What's that? A new Turak? Oh, a Kotza. Okay. It's legendary too.
Yeah, this must be a nighttime matchup for the opponent. Yeah, only 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 card draw. I'll bounce. Look at this Caracas over there. Just bouncing it all. They wasteland my Caracas. GG they say. GG Synapse Twitch. Thank you for playing and thank you for giving me that trophy. Da, 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 da. Echoloquy. All right, all right. <laughs> Played a bunch, a bunch of not very good decks, but uh, that's part of the Magic Online Legacy experience. Trophy! <laughs> uh, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I just logged in in a, in a deck. I just logged in on a league. <laughs> All right, slicing through. Well, we beat one blue red delver. We beat one blue red delver. All right, am I going to build this for Paper Legacy? Yeah, I actually have built it. I have built it. Look at my, look at my premium deck. It had all the premium versions of the cards. Maybe not all of them, but most of them, right? Just going through my Twitter profile. Oh yeah, also, I my original list only had three Uros, so this weekend I have proxied a, a fourth one with a, with this thing. Eccolo, no, I just said Pauper, Madonna, what the cats are supposed to? Eccolo. This is the, this is the, the legacy, the legacy. I've started with this list, then I made a few changes. I moved the Minsky in the Cyber for a carpet, a for a fourth Uro. That's mostly it. Oh yeah, and I cut a second Wasteland for a basic forest. It's against Blue Red Delver, you need the two forests. But yeah, this was the the paper version that I that I had this weekend. Very nice. It's on honestly like I wouldn't change a single art. On this, maybe I would get a regular endurance instead of the promo. I don't like the the promo, the promo. But when I bought them at first, it was all the my IGS head. But yeah, maybe ponder. You know what? I really like the ponder with the merfolk. I wouldn't put the time spiral, the time spiral mastered one. The, the Temps Pirate Master Ponder are like good because they're old border, but it's the Ponder with the balls. I don't like the balls. I like the, the Merfolk more. Are those real? You're, you're watching a Mango deck pick. What do you think? I put, I'll put proxy my deck picks? All right, chat. Thank you for watching. Uh, this, was, this was fun. Miss Kambu got the trophy.